What's up everyone, it's Dark Viper, and I wanna go through some of the feedback that I've been seeing on the Skyblocks suggestion site. Basically the top voted, as well as a couple of my own. I wanna walk through some of my own ideas that's gonna help a lot of people from getting scammed and just some overall life improvements for the game. Would definitely save a lot of us time and, and make the game more enjoyable for everyone. And I just wanna kinda of walk through some of these and just give you my feedback on them. Um, I won't go through them all, I'll probably hit like maybe the first page or something like that, and then some of mine, but I wanna, let's, let's talk through some of these. So this one right here says gold total them, get gold much faster. And I'm not really sure I even want this because I think a lot of players are going to get bored because gold is suddenly going to be way too easy to get. I still like kind of farming. I like going off and adventuring this. The only thing I would say is if, if they give us something new, like um, rubies or gems or diamonds or any, you know, sapphires, any special kind of gem that's better than gold or platinum, titanium, whatever it is, then I could see, I could see wanting to do something like this because there would be something much more um, valuable for us to grind for. But I don't, I don't see a, a need for that yet. So owner only door, basically this one's saying um, we need to be able to have an area that's just for us. And I guess, I mean, it's already planned. So it looks like we're gonna be getting this. I don't really know. I, I don't think I would ever use it personally because I just don't really care. But I, I mean, there's so many ways of doing this already. Um, with build, you would be able to rotate blocks. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Build rotation, I've wanted to do that so many times because it's very adopt me style. And there's just so many times that I'm just like, oh, I got to reposition my body. And that, that'd be cool to have. That's definitely a nice quality of life improvement. Why are T conveyors? I, 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 I have to say, I kind of agree with this. Um, you know, being able to, to route our conveyors a little bit better from one path instead of having to do some weird stuff. I mean, you can do, you can get around this, but right now, especially for load balancing, there's 50%. So I've sent Luke some similar things to this. I don't know if it's being considered. I doubt it is. I don't think this is high priority for them. That's why it's not planned yet. Vending machine, faster custom price, make it, yeah. And being able to type in your number, oh my God, that'd be so nice. And it looks like that's planned. Um, so basically what this means is instead of having to go to your vending machines like we currently do, you know, when you go over here and you have to like, if you want to get to like 5 million, um, you know, you're like click, 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 click. You know, this is, this takes forever having to click through. I like, I like the idea of having that so we don't have to keep clicking. More types of berry bushes, absolutely 100%. I love the berry bushes. Conveyors chests that hold 30 items. Um, I, I, I think so. Yeah, conveyor chests. So basically what they meant is industrial chests. I agree with that. Like a large industrial chest would be cool. A large chest, yes, absolutely 100%. And so let's go ahead and bump that one up. Um, let's bump that one up. Build rotation, yes. I don't really care about that. I don't care about that. So I'm not gonna vote that up. Uh, ability to move the spawn point, yes. Heck yes, 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 yes please, please, please. Um, add water blocks in the block merchant. Uh, this will allow fishing and swimming pools. I'm not really sure that I want this because it's going to lag me. It's going to really, really be, it's going to be super laggy. I'm not sure that I want this. I mean, I think there's other types of water blocks that they could do that aren't actually animating or anything, but maybe I, I just don't, I don't know. Cause it's not, it's not super clear. It's not detailed. I think it should be, um, the way we have it currently, maybe like glass blocks. I mean, I've seen so many people do this creatively without actually using water maybe if the game if he can optimize the game a little bit more then I'd, I'd be down whether i don't really want more lag i think the night and day cycle is perfect as is double press q to drop expensive items uh yeah i've, I've hit q a few times on accident I, I i think maybe a prompt or something but double press i'm not sure about i think uh i don't know i don't know i think maybe just not be q <laughs> i don't know uh new animals yes we need new animals chickens pigs cows and more sure let's do that diamond ore yes i want diamond ore i mean do we need any kind of other explanation about whether or not we should have diamond? Although, you know, I would say it'd be cool if we had something other than diamond, like if they created something of their own instead of copying Minecraft. I think this game was inspired by Minecraft, but I don't think it should take the same path as Minecraft. I think this is that this is a unique opportunity for this game to do something of its own. I just don't think we need to be copying Minecraft all the time. I mean, players that like Minecraft play Minecraft. Players that like Skyblocks play Skyblocks, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. Maybe you disagree. I, I, I just like this game way better than Minecraft. Custom money bags allow the type of uh no i i think I, I don't think we need i think we should rely a lot less on money bags i think money bags are kind of being deprecated based on our ability to transfer funds through vending machines i do think we need to have a vending machine for new players though so so we'll get to that in a minute increase the amount of items in vending machine that can be held so this is already pretty much done except you know i think they did a different version of that so i'm going to unvote that because i think what they did for 150 is pretty good um gold industrial chest uh i don't know that we've even gotten to golden yet i 
I'd say just make a large industrial chest. That'd be fine. Um, health bar on slimes and buffalo core. I think that'd be that'd be kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, health bars on them would tell me how well I'm doing because right now it's a big pain. We already have health bars on um, like items and stuff. Why not on the mob? That'd be a good idea. I like that. Make the block limit higher. Definitely not. I disagree with this one. That would. I mean, I could barely get into servers right now. Um, auto tree farming machine. I like it, but I don't know what it would do. It'd probably have to be like running. It would have to like roll down the, it, it would have to be a robot, but I already voted that one up. But yeah, we definitely need an auto tree farming um, system. These don't have to be, so daily rewards, uh, that's not that kind of game. I don't think this is the kind of game, but I, I maybe. Corn, add a corn plant. Oh, that's cool. I like corn, but we have wheat. Hmm. Someone really likes cornbread. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of impartial to that, whatever, if, if you want it. Save the save your toolbar when you leave the game. Um, yes, and, and when you die would be cool. And when you die so let's see if someone's already suggested that um it's called a hot bar isn't it yeah yeah right here hot bar saving upon leaving and dying we need this one yes please yes please that's a good one i like that one remove oily stuff <laughs> we expected that one um you could give the totems upgrades oh that's kind of cool uh, i like it but i don't think i think we should go away from to totems eventually with the apple tree you can harvest the apples from the tree it can be used to sell we already we have apple trees now which is cool wood signs can be any color um yes we need signs we need signage we need signs so we can put instructions now you got to be really careful because stuff can get really out of hand hopefully it goes through some kind of filter because we don't want the game to have issues if by you know someone entering something they shouldn't but wooden signs would be epic i would love to have wooden signs um we can move the portal i agree with it would be nice to move the portal but i'm okay with it being the same it's just like a, yeah I, I agree with that but i don't i'm not saying like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know pick up any swords and fight battles over that so sell clay I don't know. I, I I I don't I don't know. Custom money bags? No, I don't think so. Uh, increase because I, I I think we need to get rid of those. Increase the amount of items the vending machine can hold. That's duplicate. That's duplicate. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of I scrolled up somehow. Okay. Okay. Wooden signs. Portal. Sell clay. Add shadows in day and night. So we have day and night cycle. I think we already have shadows too. Add search feature in inventory. Yes, please, 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 please. Or just sort them. Give us some something. Some way to order our chaos here. Um. I I would actually also say like i don't know about you but it's really hard to see like especially in like certain certain areas um where you're like there's a lot of detail around like this it gets really hard it's like now see it's just hard because like i'm looking for items and it kind of blends in with the background i almost wish this was opaque but maybe not tier four what gilded still industrial items that'd be kind of cool yeah i like that let's do that that sounds fun um advanced permission system i all right let's let's check it so filters block field oh my gosh well, that's no, this is too. That's that's that. Uh, I don't know. I, I want more permissions, but I don't think we need to go that deep on it. I think the game needs to stay casual. Um, armor like make and but but you know, I like their I like where they were going with that. I just I'm not sure. Make different armor types. So we don't have PvP yet. So what I would have started with is PvP before we start with armor. Um, boss mob create a new island where there's a boss that spawns. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. That's a cool idea. Uh, farming, reading, building, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know that we need that. Double doors, yes, because a lot of people are OCD. Yes, I agree. Berry crop vacuum collector device. Oh, that's kind of cool, but that crop vacuum. Okay. Um, skipping, skipping. Mailbox. Everyone can put stuff in it without permissions. Okay. So you could currently do this. Um, you can currently do this. So here's how you do it. Um, let's go over to here. And all you need is in all you need is an industrial chest and a conveyor. And then people could drop stuff into it. So if you wanted to do something like that, just grab one of these, put that there. And if you want to drop something in it, and so like let's put we'll just drop this into it. So hopefully my aim's good. There you go. Now I could do that on anyone's farm. They do to me all the time i get stuff all, stuck in those all the time so yeah you can do that already you don't need a you don't need a mailbox um signs and extra trading ability add signs because sometimes people don't know yeah so that's basically the signage we already had on and off totems <laughs> that'd be really cool but the problem is i mean yeah we need that we need the ability to toggle these i agree with that because especially with the timers the timers get all messed up increase the block limit no i don't think we should i think i, I don't want to be on a server by myself i already have most people have problems loading into a server with fifty thousand, let alone a hundred thousand. now the reason 
reason why is this is not Minecraft and you, you can't, it doesn't use the same chunk system that Minecraft does. So you're, you're, you're basically, you have a finite amount of blocks you can put in a server because you're talking Roblox entities. It's not, it's not set up with voxels like, you know, Minecraft is. So you don't have the optimizations that Minecraft has and Minecraft uses a ton of memory too. This, this might be able to happen one day if Roblox upgrades their servers to be able to handle more. For now, we're kind of stuck with low memory and <laughs> 50,000. Build permissions to change. Please don't make it so that people can take your totems. Okay. Um, just, I, I think they should just put a warning. Update this. Oh God. Update this room of the update. Electric update. It's the document. Ooh, electric would be cool. What is the electric update? The generator. Oh, this is cool. Tree cutters, generators, manufacturer refineries. The pump pulls water or oil from a block of water or oil. Dude, they got all kinds of ideas in here. That's cool. I'm not going to go into that in detail, but that's kind of a neat idea. I like that. I mean, something, something similar to that would be cool. That's the cool thing about the devs. They'll look at stuff and they'll, they'll still steer it in the way they want to take it. So you might, they might look at your idea and say, you know, great feedback, but we know how to solve this a different way. And that's, I, I enjoy that about these guys. Industrial lumber chops down street, uh, trees and plants and sapling back down. Okay. I like it. Um, this water conveyors, uh, auto clean. What water conveyors will auto clean your crops for you? No, we have water machines. We have washing machines for that tier two venue. You can trade items for things instead of coin. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, I would, I would definitely, I would definitely craft one of these. This is a cool idea. Cool idea. I dig it. Um, I don't know how you do it, but I, I like the idea. They should add wood in the stage of the hill, uh, shields. Uh, we need PVP first. Gold chest. I think we need a large chest first. Make swordfish a weapon. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. Uh, fish tanks must be cool. Mm, that you can make, you can kind of make, well, maybe. That's kind of a neat idea, actually. Totem on and off. Yeah, it's a duplicate. Bad update. Berry totem. Berry totems. I, I think they need something like that, but maybe not. Hits the, whoever hits the first, make it so nobody else can hit it and take the items. Please. Yes. Thank you. Please, please, please. This, this is, this is a big big trigger point for me. This will trigger, this gets me triggered every single time. You know, as a newbie, so as a newbie, I'm like with my wooden sword and I started hitting this pink slime and I almost had him done. And you know, some dude comes in with a hammer and swipes it and kills it and takes it, takes all the, takes all the loot, literally takes all the loot. I was so triggered. The grapes don't need to be replanted. I, I, I agree with this. I don't think grapes should be, have to be replanted. Um, I think they would be more interesting if they were a lot like berry seeds, but the fact that you have to pick them up and then replant them is kind of lame. Floral totem. This is a totem that spawns in different color oh that's cool i like that yeah that's neat that's a cool idea um enemy or even like bees or something like a bee totem or something would be cool um so they pollinate you know like cross pollinate flowers and stuff corner stairs yeah i like that teleporters teleporters for teleport in your island to different locations yes please i like that iron door inspired by micro why not make an iron door eh yeah sure why not so they completed farming 2.0 which is the oily crops um they also added some new crops which i don't know that we needed them but people ask for them uh owner only door build rotation vending machine Machine, faster custom price, more types of berry bushes are planned, more moderation. So I don't think they, I don't know that they've really been going through this lately. I think they've been kind of, they've kind of went off track a little bit and are working on pets and other things. That's my guess because we had this little clue the other day. If you remember Luke's post, um, the wizard with this, with this lizard, wizard, lizard, taming lizards with magic lizards shall fight for you. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Like, what is, what does this mean? You know, we're, we're unknown. We're not sure what's going on with this. I'm curious. I'm, I'm hoping it's something cool. So we know that this is something that they're working on that is clearly not on that page. So we'll see. And then we've got, let's see, say honk. So they've been doing, they have, you know, what's great is they put these little Easter eggs in there. It's kind of cool. So now I want to, I want to take you through some of my suggestions. Um, I think these are pretty basic and straightforward, but let's go back here. So the first thing is vending machine money indicator. So, so when you have a vending machine that has money in it, you know, there should be like a little icon or like a little dollar sign above it or something, or on, on the corner somewhere, or even like maybe, maybe light these up so that you know that there's money to be taken or picked up, or just like a little particle effect would be cool. So you know that there's money in it because when someone buys something from my vending machines, I, you know, I right now to manage the store, I have to go through here, click edit, and then check withdraw, click here, click edit, withdraw. Oh, I have money in here. I didn't know that. Um, and so that's a great example. I had money in there and I didn't know I had it. So I have to do this. And I don't know about you, but this is boring when, you know, I have a bunch of people that are trying to talk to me and stuff um, while I'm on the servers. So if there was like a money indicator that there was actually money inside the machine, then I would know that there's enough money in there to transact or grab. The next one I have is packing the island for easy rebuild. So if you remember, <laughs> it's the number of times I actually am working on a rebuild, but uh, packing my island up would be so helpful because then I would be able to get rid of all this stuff. So it took us forever to 
kind of, you know, take down all of my other stuff. I had so many farms. I had so many, like, I just have way too much stuff. So if I wanted to rebuild this, it would take me forever. Um, so now I'm actually, I'm still tearing this down. I'm still, this, this entire island is basically going through a complete redo. It was funny because the other day I posted a video and they're like, Dark, why are you always showing us your berry farm? And it's not, I'm not trying to flex it. No, I, I, I don't have many places to go on my island currently. So I, you know, it's either inside here, which is kind of a mess or over here, that's kind of a mess or up there. That's kind of a mess either way. Honestly, I like to see the berry bushes because they look cool. But yeah, so I'm pretty much stuck to this really messed up looking island, but I'm fixing it. So this is a nice improvement over here. Um, having my mall. I'm actually working on something in the center so we can have little mini games. Whenever people visit my island, they can win prizes. And then over here is going to be kind of my new island. Um, this is going to actually be all black and red to match my look. And then a little bit of yellow as well. And then over here, I'm going to redo my berry farm. So at some point, this is, I think this is going to get a new shell. So this is going to look a lot cleaner. And then um, over here, I think I'm going to do something on top of this. And then I'm going to actually build something around the portal. I'm taking down my onion farm over here. So I'm doing like a bunch of stuff um, on my island. But the ability to pack your island up easily with a button um, instead of having to hire a demolition crew that are going to sit there for three hours plus. Because you have to stay you have to stay on your island while people are taking stuff out or, or likewise. And it's just a huge time investment. It's a bummer. And then we got scam prevention, currency formatting. I think the vending machines should just use standard currency formatting. Kind of like um, if you look at my, my currency format up here, it says I have 512 mil. That's how the, the machines should display the currency. Because if you look at it, uh, this is really confusing. These look like the same numbers um, compared to this. This is clear, right? So you can tell this is 50 million. Um, 50, you know, even if it's 50k or 5k, you know how cheap it is or expensive it is. It's a, it's, and it's a. I don't, and I don't think that's a difficult thing for them to do. It should be very easy to do that. And then, so as far as uh, build mode, players are complaining because when they go to a server, you know that there's that button where you can click and give someone build permission. I think that should be a confirmation prompt to let people know they can get scammed. So if I clicked on that button and um, allowed permission to someone, it should warn them saying, you know, are you sure this gives access to anyone to take things from your island type warning? you know, to take things or destroy anything on your island. So having a warning for new players, I think would be super helpful because players are quitting left and right. I don't know how many players we've lost in this game, but there's so many players that have left. Another scam prevention one would be to make the vending modes clear. Cause the problem is like between these and this one, if someone's coming up quickly and they see like, oh my gosh, cause if I say, cause people have done this a lot. It's like, hey, yeah, go ahead and come over here and you can buy this for cheap. You can buy this for cheap. And if I know that you already have one. So actually the great one right here is the seeds. They're like, yeah, come over here and buy the seed. Um, it's, it's only one, it's it's only one coin and they've tried the scam on me so they'll put this at one coin and i'll run up as a new player right and i'll be like "Ooh, this is cool and then i'm gonna go buy it and then for one coin and in a sense what i did was i sold my one seed to them for one coin which is a horrible experience but they've done that to me and uh thankfully i didn't fall for it so scam prevention beginner tier one vending machine so here's the problem here's a big problem to me it's it's a big problem when you're a bacon here or you're a poor player and this is like 90 percent of the player base this is i'm talking about 90 percent of the player base cannot afford one of these vending machines. And you know, if so if you were to go and create an account right now, um, unless you follow my next video, you're going to see in my next video, I actually will show you how to get one of these vending machines within the first two hours of playing. But that's that's like following my steps. That's not following what Skyblocks teaches you to do, um, which is to farm and they give you a little farm that you use and they're going to give you a little berry seed and you go through their, their traditional flow. But I'd show you an alternative flow that will help you get this um, a machine in two hours and I'll help you get to 5 million coin in a very, very short amount of time. And so, but the problem is, is that the new players need these vending machines more than um, us. I mean, we need them, but the new players are the ones that need protected the most and they don't have a vending machine. They have, you know what they have to do? They have to go to someone's island and then, you know, that person's going to plop down a chest and say, hey, put your stuff in there or drop the item and I'll give you money afterwards. And then that new player gets scammed and guess what they do? They quit the game. So we need to give them a small vending machine that they can use, even if it's a one slot item, like maybe, maybe make it so they can only go up to a certain amount or maybe there's only one item that they can put in there at a time. So it's a big pain in the butt, but then they can craft it like any other basic crafting item where it's super cheap, kind of like, you know, being able to craft your wooden sword or your, your, or your campfire. So it'd be like crafting like something like this, right? So it only requires stone and iron or something really basic. And it's a small vending machine. Maybe it's half the size or height or something. I don't know, but we need to make it so players aren't getting scammed by, um, scammers anymore. Improved quest tracking system. This is kind of, um, obvious, you know, right now you have to go to the lobby to be able to talk with those NPCs. And it's a big pain because I don't actually grind them despite, despite me playing the game a ton i actually don't grind any of the quests i just go by the uh i just go by the blueprints or people you know help me out and give them to me um green clay or green blocks because we need those i wanted to make um trees 
um, out of blocks and I couldn't. Block count, so being able to see your, your max block limit. I mean, we need to be able to see how close we are getting to the limit. So I agree with this. I, I, I think they should just put it up here where it says, you know, or it's coins and it says 512 mil. I put over here is like blocks and it just tell me like, okay, I've got 50,000, 50K or 41K or whatever. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, kill blocks would be cool so we can create cool obbies. I think that'd be neat. Being able to have a kill block and it'd be fun to troll, troll my friends. So that's my list. If you have your own list, I'd love to see your ideas in the comments below. Maybe I can help uh, post some of the suggestions or promote some of them. If they are good ideas, I will maybe include them in my next video for Skyblock suggestions. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. All the suggestions on my list that I just showed you are in the description. So if you want to check out my suggestions, go ahead and thumbs up anything that you agree with. And I will see you all next time. Take it easy.